We sat with dad, talked, played board games and Sam would take over when dad forgot things or when I found dirty plates in the cupboard or his shaving stuff in the cutlery drawer or once when he struggled for my name, I... Sam would take over when I just couldn't stop myself from finding it all horribly sad. In January, Sam took me away for the weekend and when we got to Washington, strangers were high-fiving each other and smiling and everyone seemed so excited. It was the same feeling I'd had on that rooftop on Christmas Day, right in the pit of my stomach, looking down on all those tiny lights holding tiny lives and knowing they were part of something. But that something was bigger than them and it was good. And when it came to it, with the sun peeking itself out behind the Washington Monument and looking down the mall, seeing two million people waiting, exercising their muscle of faith. Well, I thought it didn't really matter what you believed in, just as long as you knew how to believe. Just as he appeared and all the flags started waving and young kids started whooping and older men and women shed some quieter tears. Sam turned to me and he wrapped me right up in his scarf and he said, now you gotta believe in this, right? <laughs> and I just looked at him and he had this stupid smile across his face, grinning from ear to fucking ear and suddenly I realised just the kind of balls it takes not to think the world is such a bad place. <laughs>